Exactly, and it's and it's not just you know any bank is is a technology company, it's and it's it's not just banking though. So even across B two B industrial sectors, um, the the degree to which you can change that relationship with the customer through technology fundamentally changes the business model for most companies. Yes, yeah, so the the whole idea of, of thinking about digital transformation from a business and technology partnership is that you're using technology to drive revenue growth. It's, it's about changing the perspective on how you apply technology inside business. So for the last 30 years, typically what we've done is use technology to automate a manual process, automate a paper process, or improve the productivity inside a, a company by automating an existing process. And what we see with digital transformation is the ability to take technology and use it to drive a new way of creating value for the customer. To help the customer get to an outcome they can get to easier, better, faster, and more effectively with using the emerging technologies today. And that changes the way a company typically has a relationship with a customer, changes the way they create that outcome which drives value for the customer, and therefore allows you to look at different revenue models for the, for the business. So the, the idea of using technology in conjunction with the business is, is kind of like, the technology has always been part of the business, but historically a lot of people have looked at IT as something separate from the business, and that's never been a healthy perspective. A lot of progressive CIOs have really understood that technology is tightly integrated to the business and the, and the revenue model of the business. Today, you can't afford to look at technology as something separate from the business. Everybody has to understand it is tightly integrated to the way the business drives uh, value for the customer and drives revenue. And so, to some extent, every company has to become a technology company. They have to understand how to apply technology in a way that has value to the customer and drive revenue and, and profit growth. So, uh, so when you're talking about technology partnership, it's really about the partnership between, say, the technology group inside a company and, say, the line of business in, inside the company. And, and the best partnerships are ones that are seamless. The technology group is tightly integrated to the line of business and they're working seamlessly together. So the, the best examples we see of companies are ones that are breaking down barriers between the technology group, or what's traditionally called the IT group, and the line of business. It, even in large-scale organizations, you can see evidence of, of this happening over a, a long period of time. And, and one of the biggest and, and probably best examples that I see today is GE. As a large industrial company, for the last four or five years, have been going on their own digital transformation journey. So Jeff Immel has recognized that GE has to change, has to become much more savvy about how it uses technology. Uh, put in place Bill Rue, who's, who's developed, who's his chief digital officer, and, and set up the digital unit, so GE Digital. And over time, they understood that the integration of technology was so tightly tied up with how they were going to drive revenue in the future. They moved all of the IT groups sort of into GE Digital. They now all report to Bill. And they're tightly focused on how to use technology to help all of those industrial segments inside GE uh, drive better value for their customers using technology, but also increase the operational productivity of their business using that technology. So when they've gone down that journey and figured out how to use the technology, they learned that they, they had to build a whole new series of technology capabilities around IoT to bring inside their business units. That's what sort of predicated the evolution of Predix, their platform for IoT, and the ability to go and apply that inside their GE businesses was kind of the first learning step for them in terms of understanding how to use technology in a different way. So they're a great case study in in a large corporation figuring out how to change uh, a sort of a, a traditional uh, mindset of, of the business and think about it differently in terms of how you use technology to drive revenue.